Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be about witchcraft. It's in the title. So I just wanted to sort of get straight into the video. I get really annoyed with long intros. So I just, I'm just gonna start with the first sort of thing that made me even think about witchcraft, um, which was, I believe I can potentially, well, I could potentially be Claire Audient. Um, I didn't even know that that was a thing. Uh, I remember just watching, I think it was a Jenna Marbles video where she had a Claire like voyant come in or something like that or a psychic or something, I can't remember. And then they were explaining what a Claire voyant was and then that there were also people called like the, a Claire audient. And um, then they explained what that was obviously. And that's when I was kind of like, oh my God, that's like happened to me. Um, throughout my life, there have been multiple times where I have felt, not even felt, I don't know why I say it like that. I've heard things that aren't anyone else speaking, basically. I've, I can't ever really make out what it is. It's almost like I'm being distracted by something and someone's speaking and I'm like, oh, sorry, what did you say? Like, it's, it's literally always been like that and, and it's happened often enough for me to notice a pattern, but not often enough for me to be like, yeah, that's 100% what it is. Um, just often enough for me to be like, uh, am I hearing ghosts or is it all in my head? To kind of just even slightly question it. Um, so that's like the first thing that I was like, mm, have I got an ability to actually hear spirits and ghosts or maybe, and I, and I always brush it off as like, oh, maybe it is just in my head, but, um, that, that was the first sort of thing that that maybe made me sort of even think about it at all. Um, the second sort of thing that really got me on this path and on this journey was, um, was astrology and how into astrology I got. Um, I wanna start by saying that I was brought up as a Catholic. Um, I've been baptized, had my Holy Communion and confirmed. Um, it's, all my parents knew they're both like from Portugal so Portugal is a Catholic country and um, that's how that they they were brought up um, so they just brought us up like that uh, throughout being brought up in that sort of religion I don't know if this is a bit wonky it is a little bit it's probably because of my camera that should yeah sorry about that um, because of yeah my parents just all they knew was pretty much being Catholic. So I got up, it got brought up in that religion. Um, I never really felt like I was a true Catholic. Uh, I never really fully like believed and was like devoted or anything like that. I always had questions, had doubts. Um, and those just grew and grew as I got older to the point where I literally just renounced the religion and I just, I don't believe in it. Um, so I was, for a while, I was very much content with just living my life. I didn't need an answer of like how we even came here. I was just content with just living my life. Um, and then I sort of like got into astrology and that it's been about over a year or so now um that started out with a conversation with a friend of my cousin's i think it was at his birthday party i'm not too sure um about astrology and she mentioned birth charts and she does like tarot readings and all that sort of stuff and i've always been really interested and loved that kind of stuff uh one of my best friends she has angel cards and she did an angel card reading on me and um i've just always been really open to that sort of stuff and loved it um so then she was mentioning about a birth chart and when I did my birth chart and I actually learnt my whole birth chart obviously and learnt that I was more than just a Sagittarius sun, um, that's when it started to really, really resonate in me and that's when I started to really believe that the universe and the placement of the planets, the placement of the moon and the sun and all of that sort of stuff affects us and the energy of that affects us and you can i i can see it i can see traits in people that are very common in 
and just things like that. And I genuinely believe that the universe has an energy and that it all is connected and that it's all like recycled and it's all like part of one and we all are all just yeah connected through this natural energy of the universe the planets the earth everything um that's what i believe in and i didn't know that that was basically witchcraft in a sense until i started to research into which until i started to research into witchcraft um and I don't even know how I started to research into witchcraft. I think it just went from like astrology and just like, I just got, I think recommended like a video, like a witchcraft video on YouTube because of how much astrology videos I'd watched or something. I'm not sure. Um, but once, yeah, once I sort of watched that one video and then I started to Google search it and then I started to see if there were any podcasts about witchcraft and um, I've even like bought uh, Scott Cunningham's Wicca, a guide for the solitary practitioner. Um, and I just, I'm like obsessed and it's, I'm just intrigued by it and it's, it makes sense. And I'm just getting more and more drawn into it. The more and more that I find out and things like that. So, um, so I am right at the beginning of my journey into witchcraft and I wanted to make this video because I thought it would just be really cool. Um, especially if there's anyone else out there, we could sort of, you know, start a little community ourselves. It'd be just cool to have someone else out there that's in the same boat as me and we could just like have little study groups, exchange notes and all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how I've got into witchcraft, uh, just by researching it, finding that it's actually is what I basically believe in already. Um, but obviously there's rituals and and there's spell casting and how you can work with the energies for like manifestation and all this sort of stuff. And that is is something that I really wanna learn and I really wanna like tune into, like using my energies and um, just working with like the, the earth and the natural energies of the universe to just manifest and do good in, in the world and just grow as a person pretty much. Um, so that's that's where I'm pretty much at at the moment. And um, before I even really thought about witchcraft, or even saying like, oh yeah, I'm a witch and I'm into witchcraft and I'm I'm that I'm pra like I'm practicing. Um, I bought tarot cards and have been learning how to do tarot readings and learning the deck and like connecting with the get with oh my god connecting with the deck and things like that, um, which is yeah has been really really cool and interesting as well and um and uh, i've recently found out that there are obviously different types of witches because i'm like i just said I've, I've bought that book about wicca and i'm learning about that and that's obviously the religious side of things and um and i want to learn about the history and all this sort of stuff and just it, it's all about finding your own path and things like that so um yeah i've recently learned that there's loads of different types of witches and um, I feel like the ones that I'm currently being quite drawn to is, of course, the cosmic witchcraft, um, which is, of course, about the planets and astrology and the placement of the moon and all that sort of stuff. That's definitely what I already just originally believe in anyway. So um, that one is what I was really drawn to. Um, green witchcraft, which is more about the nature and, and all natural sort of elements to it and herbs and all this sort of stuff. Um, and the hearth witchcraft is something that I really also want to research into, um, which is more to do with the home and more, yeah, like personal and home sort of stuff. Um, so there's so many different elements to it that I'm just, it's, it's, almost overwhelming but in like a really good way because there's just so much and it's so much of it is like resonating and the parts that aren't resonating that's okay because that's witchcraft like witchcraft is personal there is no right or wrong and that's why I just think again that's another reason why I'm so drawn to it and why I feel it's something yeah I genuinely believe in I feel like it's something deep in inside me and 
and I feel like it is almost with a lot of people. Um, it's just about, yeah, like your own personal journey. I feel like magic is a real thing that has just been emphasized to a ridiculous degree in the media that makes it seem mythical and unreal. Um, but there are so many things in life that happen that we can't explain. Um, I feel like a, a single thing would be just like our intuition, that little little feeling inside you that you get where it's like, mm, something's not right, we need to stop this, or this person's cool, or you know that just initial judgment that you get when you just meet someone and you just know like, we're gonna get on or maybe we're not or whatever it is like those sort of things that's that's that is all magic because it's there's no explanation it's just a vibe like you know and it's just like she's got this weird vibe she's got this weird energy it's magic um so that's that's pretty much where i'm at and i just wanted to make a video because again once again i'm saying it again um i just thought it'd be really cool to document and it's sort of a really cool sort of um how many times can I say sort of? It's a really cool community out there and I just love how it's, you know, celebrating individualism and just a journey into self-discovery and finding yourself and just being the ultimate, truest form of yourself you can be. I don't even know if that sentence made sense, but yeah, I just wanted to make this video, put it out on my channel um, because it's definitely something that I'm into at the moment and I want my channel to reflect who I am as a person as well as, you know, content that can be informative and help other people and I just want it to be, yeah, like just true to my journey because as much as we are individual, there's also so many of us going through the same thing. So there's definitely people just like me that have just found that calling they've just heard the calling or just started to really actually like look into it and um it's just a beginning of a journey that is really cool but scary and overwhelming and so much to learn and just a lot a, there's just a lot and so i hope that this video has either inspired someone or makes someone feel more comfortable to speak about it or like you could you know you can reach out to me and we can just um we can like dm on like instagram or even in the comment section or whatever like and just have a chat if maybe you feel like you've been getting into witchcraft and everyone around you is either kind of not really taking you seriously because like i get that um or if you just feel too scared like you can't actually even open up and say that you're into it or whatever it is um there's just a little place on the internet for you guys so yeah i hope that this video helps um i'm excited to start this journey and document it all and share it with you guys and you know go on the journey together as well so that's that's pretty much it guys i'm a uh, i'm a witch and that's the kind of lifestyle that i'm on at the moment and yeah personal growth and and here we go <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, make sure to give it a like, leave a comment down below if maybe you also are new to witchcraft and you're just learning loads of things because there's so much to learn and um, yeah, it's, it's exciting. So it'd just be cool to make friends or, you know, just have people to talk to that are in a similar boat that, you know, we can just sort of help each other out, I guess. <laughs> Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, thanks. Bye.